In this video, I will teach you about two crucial concepts in the subject of linear algebra, the span of a list of vectors and linear combinations of vectors. To begin, let's suppose we have some arbitrary vector space V and we select a small subset of vectors that live in this space. An interesting question to ponder is what is the smallest vector space that we can now create that includes all of these vectors? Is it the original vector space or some smaller subspace of it? The answer will ultimately depend on which vectors were chosen, but what will always be true is that the smallest vector space that can be formed is something called the span. Okay, so what is the span of this list? In order to answer this, we need to recall that every vector space exists over another algebraic structure called a field. And the operation known as scalar multiplication allows us to take any element from this field and multiply it with any vector in the vector space. Now, since a vector space is closed under scalar multiplication, then anytime we do this, we simply end up with another vector that lives in the vector space. Thus, we can now perform the operation of vector addition and add these new vectors together. But a vector space is also closed under vector addition. So again, we end up with another vector that lives in this vector space. And this is exactly what a linear combination of this list of vectors is. It is any vector in the vector space that can be written in this way, as some kind of combination of the vectors in the list. And if we consider all of the different ways we can combine these vectors, not just with these field elements, but with every element from the underlying field, we end up with the span of this list. The span of this list is the collection of all linear combinations of x, y, and u. And in general, for any list of vectors, the span will be the collection of all linear combinations of the vectors that make up the list, with the scalars coming from whatever the underlying field is. So if the list contained n vectors written in this way, then the span would be the following set. 